Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this Teams Administrator Associate MS700 examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about Microsoft Teams with SharePoint Online and OneDrive. One of the core features of Microsoft Teams is the collaboration service it provides through SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. When a new team is created, a new SharePoint site is provisioned, including subsites for your public channel created in the Teams. If a team is added to an existing Microsoft 365 group, the public channels are added to an existing SharePoint site as well. Files shared in public channel are automatically added to the document library and permissions and file security options set in SharePoint Online are automatically reflected within Teams as well. So let's go and understand a bit more details about SharePoint site structure, how the site permissions work, and how you can measure the team's utilization for SharePoint and understand the difference between public and private channels. Any tenant has two unique namespaces. When a new Microsoft 365 group or team is created, a new SharePoint site is provisioned. So you can go under your Teams and you can click on this ellipsis and click on open the SharePoint to view the SharePoint site. So when a new channel is created, a folder in shared documents is automatically provisioned. So the following diagram shows another example of how Teams and public channels rely on SharePoint site collections and document libraries. When it comes to SharePoint site permissions, like regular SharePoint sites, the team SharePoint resources contain the three default permission groups, members, owners, and visitors. In contrast to pure SharePoint site collection, these permission groups on team site cannot be edited or changed. When assigning a team owner or members through one of the clients or through the team's admin center, the users are also added into a respective permission group. To view the permission of who got what access to a Teams, this is where you can find out who is the owner and who is the member of a particular group. Let's understand Teams utilization of SharePoint. So Teams is not only supports the manual upload of files to its document library, it also supports storing the following resources in the SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Business. So the file shared in the private chats is stored in the sender's OneDrive for Business. Any sort of pictures and the file sent as a conversation, it will be in the channel's document library. Any sort of email sent to the channel is going to be in the subfolder called email messages. So now we have understood the public channels. Let's understand the details about the private channels. So when a team member create a new private channel, instead of creating a new site in the team site collection, a whole new site collection is created. And the creator of the channel is added as a site collection owner. So this following diagram shows how every private channel data is stored in an independent SharePoint online site collection. Please note that the SharePoint online site collections of private channels of Teams are not visible in SharePoint Online Admin Center, but can be seen via a SharePoint Online PowerShell module. Let's understand the site permission for private channels. If a member leaves or is removed from a team, that user will also be removed from all private channels in the team. Changes to the team like this that also affect the private channels that are synchronized within four hours automatically. Please note that all private channels need an owner. A private channel owner can't be removed through the team's client if they are the last owner of one or more private channels. If a private channel owner leaves your organization, 
or if they are removed from your Microsoft 365 group, a member of the private channel is automatically promoted to the private channel owner. Now that we have understood the SharePoint site structure and permissions for public and private channels, in the next lesson, we are going to explore how Teams is integrated with Microsoft Exchange. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.